okay so how are we going to do advanced searches uh, for the literature review uh, mostly it it may have come across uh, each one of us that uh, the reviews which we get for the research articles which we are sending for uh, uh, for in a journal so we may get reviews that uh, you have not cited some of the recent papers or important papers uh, in this uh, regard the article which you are writing the objectives uh, need to be relooked into uh, and you should provide uh, a conceptual theoretical background some of the articles which should be cited have not been cited you need to make your literature more enriched and uh, so many other things may may be written to you uh, by the reviewers or the editor of the article so how can we go about uh, finding out some of the articles which uh, which are there in the public domain but we have not cited it and uh, they are you can say pioneer researchers in that field uh, what if we have missed it out so what is the process how can we do it by taking the help of google scholar i'm going to just show it to you so you go to google scholar and uh, this is the screen which you're going to get here uh, you can search for articles here by writing the keywords and then clicking on search that is one way of doing it uh, but if you really want to uh, get into what specific requirements you have for example then you should always go for uh, thus advanced searches so we see the three lines over here you click on this and you go to advanced search tab uh, you click on advanced search tab and and tab and you get this uh, this is the this is how you can find out the uh, the article which you want which may have uh, which you may not have seen while you were researching for the article because uh, precisely you'll have to search uh, for articles keywords and uh, if keywords are given properly then things may work fine for you so how we do it uh, in this case, you see, uh, if I have to say, for example, a work on innovation in higher education, so I'll write it innovation in higher education. And uh, this is something find articles with all the words. Now, if I want innovation in higher education to be, you know, put in one step, then I'll, I'll put it here. If I want to write the exact phrase, uh, I, I can write it here with at least one of the words, then I can write it here. And uh, if you want your search to not show you some of the words, then you can write without the words here. If you write it, then such words will definitely not uh, come up in your search bar. Uh, and where do you want your words to be? Uh, if you want that to be found in the title of the article, you can press it here. And if you want anywhere in the article, you can just click, uh, let it be uh, clicked here because this is the default anywhere in the article. Generally, uh, you know, finding articles with all the words writing here will definitely give you. So keywords need to be written here. Okay, that will help you in getting the article which you would want to. Uh, second thing is return articles authored by. So if you know a particular author and the work you are missing on, then you can definitely write the name of the author. Uh, either you write uh, in this format or the other format okay so you can write down uh, the name of the author just write down the name of the author it doesn't matter if uh, most probably the the surname or the the last name is written here so you can write it then the written articles published and if you know which journal it has been published and then you can definitely put the name here the name of the journal here and uh, if you want uh, return articles dated between now this is important because if you want uh, specific dated researches you know we do not want uh, to cite articles generally uh, I'll, i'm also going to talk about the best practices in writing management researches uh, so i'm just bringing out a point here that uh, we we generally tend to write uh, cite some of the resources which have been published uh, many years back so 50 60 years back even 30 years back something and we say uh, this is an anomaly i'm just pointing out here that uh, the things which we write we go on writing like this that uh, no previous research has worked on this aspect and i'm working on this aspect and when you say no previous research you're citing a work which is say 30 years dated so uh, so something which was uh, said in 1990s that no uh, no previous research have worked on this aspect uh, and you're citing that here to uh, g uh, give claims to your uh, justification then this do not does not work here so you would want to uh, 
cite those articles which are contemporary which are new and uh, that has been accepted so uh, it is uh, recommended that the authors go for such dates so what we you can do it here you can uh, check the researches of last five years maybe and then and then go for this uh, search bar and click it here and this is what you get so uh, you see something which has been uh, so innovation in higher education innovation innovation so these are the articles you are going to get and there are so many so you can see that 2 lakh 80 1000 results have uh, come up uh, which specifically talk about innovation in higher education uh, i have a point to make here that we say that uh, such researches have not been uh, done in my field and therefore my study is a unique study and this is a uh, this is an original study so in that sense you need to be absolutely very very sure that such studies have not been undertaken and this uh, advanced search option can can really help you in understanding if actually no research has been done on it and uh, this can give you a pool of evidence whether or not uh, on and uh, what is the status of the current work which uh, can be taken up now uh, also uh, researchers have a problem with uh, uh, downloading the research articles most of the research articles are paid articles so uh, from this research scholars tab also you can see uh, if a pdf of that article is available so if if a pdf is written over here and uh, you can definitely go to that and download it for example now see here enhancement innovation in higher education in nigeria this article uh, has no pdf attached to it so definitely you will not be able to find the pdf uh, of that article that means the article is not freely available but i can also see if the author has uh, uh, uploaded this research article in his or her personal uh, research gate account or maybe some other account so you can always see uh, here and now there are no versions here generally we, we can have different versions here uh, we don't have any version here so we can safely assume that this paper I'll not get it uh, uh, online through my simple searches I'll not get this uh, PDF I, it is generally a paid PDF and therefore because there is no PDF uh, sign here as well as there is version version detail is also not there that means the article has been uploaded only by advances in social science and this may be a paid article but you can definitely probe further into it and try and find out if your library subscribe for this uh, subscribes for this journal maybe then you can you are able to get this article into free so uh, it's important now why i'm talking about the different versions i'll just tell you like uh, we have six versions the first article had eight versions why i'm talking about this you can straight away go and you know download this article the pdf uh, here uh, it's available right this is specifically available and it's an open access you can definitely download it uh, if for example there is uh, no sign of this video what you can do is you can go to all eight versions click on this and uh, uh, you can see uh, the article has also been uploaded in the research gate account so if you if you have a research gate account which you can definitely have uh, you can uh, have your uh, own research account in ResearchGate because this is the place where you can show that how much of your articles have been cited and otherwise so you can have it and uh, I can just go around and click on this and I can you know download the paper from ResearchGate so even if a paper is not available otherwise uh, it may have been uploaded by the uh, research author uh, himself or herself so this in this way you will be able to find out uh, some of the contemporary researches or if you want to give a particular time frame that uh, when uh, when such uh, things were prominent say for example 1990 to 1995 articles if you want to do a meta analysis of that uh, these uh, advanced search options can help you in uh, doing that easily